An anti-feminist vandal who defaced the memorial site to murdered comedian Eurydice Dixon has avoided jail. Andrew Nolch was slammed for his lack of remorse by the magistrate after he blamed his actions on man-haters. Dougal Beatty was in court. Walking free from court, Andrew Nolch was showing little sign of contrition. Not all men are bad. I did the political graffiti because the mainstream media and feminists turned the tragic murder of Eurydice Dixon into one giant political man-hating event. Convicted to serve 200 hours community work, the 29-year-old pleaded guilty to painting a vulgar image of male genitalia on the memorial to Eurydice Dixon just days after she was killed in June. The blatant man-hating upset me so much that I felt I had to make a statement for men's rights. He told media he wanted to cause maximum outrage but claimed he meant no offence to the murdered 22-year-old. I absolutely say sorry to Ritzy Dixon and her family. Inside, Magistrate Olivia Trumbull was concerned by his lack of remorse and strong anti-feminist beliefs, saying, whatever your personal views are, they no way justify your actions. Your conduct is inexplicable and your actions despicable. Why do you hate feminists? Because they're degrading women and they're not so helping women to grow. Nolch's father was in court to support his son after the family revealed they'd received death threats. Are you proud of your son? Absolutely. Yeah. You're proud of what he's done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's my son and um, yeah, you we're, we're, we're a normal family. Andrew Nolch will now have to undergo a men's behaviour change program as part of his rehabilitation and treatment. The magistrate also ordered him to provide a DNA sample because she felt it was in the public interest. He'll now have to repay almost $20,000 for the clean-up bill. Dougal Beatty, Nine News. The vandal who painted an obscene image on the memorial of murdered comedian Eurydice Dixon has been ordered to take part in a men's behavioural change program. Anti-feminist Andrew Nolch said he did it because he was angry and wanted to make a political statement. Andrew Nolch honestly believes he was representing the men in our community when he painted a lewd image on the memorial of a woman who was raped and murdered. This mainstream media propaganda and blatant man-hating upset me so much that I felt I had to make a statement for men's rights. The 29-year-old executed his selfish plan the night before a vigil for the talented comedian because he wanted to cause outrage. Today, a magistrate told Nolch, your conduct, in my view, is inexplicable and your actions were despicable. The magistrate remained concerned about Nolch's lack of remorse and insight into his offending. He was placed on a court order for 18 months. He must complete 200 hours of community work and engage in a men's behaviour program. On top of that, he'll also have to pay almost $20,000 for the clean-up bill after the turf had to be replaced. Although Nolch has always said he didn't mean to offend Ms Dixon's family, the magistrate made it very clear that he did. She said he intended to offend everyone who went to the vigil and that included those who knew Ms Dixon. But there was one man who wasn't offended at all. Are you proud of your son? Absolutely. Yeah. You're proud of what he's done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's my son and... Um... Yeah, we're, we're, we're a normal family. Chanel Vella, 7 News.